Today we're going to start working on the uh, concept of dividing fractions by fractions. Now the last movie you watched was dividing whole numbers by fractions, so there should be a lot of similarities between the two. Please make sure you have your graphic organizer with you to take notes. Here's the problem um, we want to pose to you. How would we use fraction strips to model 3 fourths divided by 1 eighth? Well, I've kind of drawn out the fraction strips for you. Let's look at this carefully. It says 3 fourths divided by 1 eighth. That means that we're going to take our total is 3 fourths, so this is the section we're looking at, and we want to divide that into groups of 1 eighth. Well, let's count how many groups of 1 eighth are in this area of 3 fourths. If you look, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if we were to take 3 fourths and divide it into groups of 1 eighth, we would get 6. There are 6 groups of 1 eighth inside the section of 3 fourths. Let's do another one. How would we use fraction strips to model 3 fourths divided by 3 eighths? Well, we're kind of working with the same total area again this time. We have our 3 fourths right here, 1, 2, 3, and we want to know how many groups of 3 eighths. So this time, we're going to look at 3 eighths in a group. So there's one group of 3 eighths, and there's another group of 3 eighths. So how many groups of 3 eighths were there in the 3 fourths? <coughs> Well, there's 2. So 3 fourths divided by 3 eighths would be 2. Well, let's talk about how you divide fractions by fractions if you don't have your handy dandy fraction tile picture set up for you. So we're going to use our example as 3 fourths divided by 2 thirds. Now, to divide fraction by fraction, the first step is keep the first fraction the same. Well, that's easy enough, so just write 3 fourths. Step two, turn the division symbol into a multiplication symbol. Number three, write the reciprocal of the second fraction. And remember from the last video, reciprocal is simply flipping numerator and denominator. So instead of two thirds, we're going to write three halves. And then you multiply. Go numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator, and then we reduce. Now we can't really divide anything out of both the numerator and denominator, but as you can see, this is an improper fraction. So we're going to need to take 9 divided by 8. 8 goes into 9 one time. Subtract. That becomes your remainder becomes your numerator, and your divisor becomes your dividend. Or excuse me, your denominator. Sorry, too many words there. So our final quotient is 1 and 1 eighth. Go ahead and write these down and then we'll go on to the next slide. Let's practice again. Our example here is 3 twelfths divided by 1 eighth. Remember step one, leave the first fraction alone. Change your division symbol to a multiplication symbol. Uh, write the reciprocal of the second fraction and then multiply. Now some of you have seen this trick, some of you may have not. Um, at this point in a multiplying uh, fraction problem, you can actually reduce some at this point. If you see a numerator and a denominator that have a common factor, you can divide it out at this point. For example, if you look at 3 and 12, they both share a common factor of 3. So we can divide 3 by 3 and get 1. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now if you also look very carefully, you will notice that we now have 4 as a denominator and 8 as a numerator. At this point you can also divide out their common factor. The common factor between 4 and 8 is 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So our final answer, multiply across 1 times 2 is 2 and 1 times 1 is 1, and then if you reduce that down, you'll get 2. So our final quotient is 2. Let's do another practice. 1 half 
divided by 4 fifths. Keep the first fraction the same. Change the division to a multiplication. Write the reciprocal of the second fraction. Now that neat little trick of reducing at this point won't work because we don't have a numerator and a denominator that share a common factor. So we're going to go ahead and multiply across. 1 times 5 is 5 and 2 times 4 is 8. And in this case, it's a proper fraction that's already in simplified terms, so there's no reducing. Our uh, next practice is 7 tenths divided by 5 halves. First step, keep the first fraction the same. Change the division to a multiplication and write the reciprocal of the second fraction. Look for any common, denom common factors that you can divide out of a numerator and denominator. In this case, we have 10 and 5. They both share a common factor of 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 5 divided by 5 is 1. Now there are no other numerators and denominators that have a common factor. So we're going to go ahead and multiply. 7 times 1 is 7, and 2 times 2 is 4. But if you look, the problem now is that it's improper. So we're going to need to come over here to our work area and take our numerator divided by our denominator. Four divide, 7 divided by 4 is 1. Subtract new numerator and our denominator. So our final quotient is 1 and 3 fourths. That's our last example we're going to do together. Um, please write down any notes or questions you have so that you can ask me in class. And today's magical word is Mrs. Wilkins. So please write that on the very front of your sheet in the top right-hand corner. Have a wonderful evening.